Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. Out here in Franklin, Connecticut today. I got Quinn on the job. We're making a rare guest appearance. Quinn's got his own full-time job now, so I don't get him too often anymore. We got this little raised ranch, garage, pool fence, cranking right through it. We got a fairly stacked day. Should be fun. Next project, very dirty multi-family cave style house out in Baltic, Connecticut. A referral from a contractor friend of mine, JFK Roofing and Siding in Plainfield, Connecticut. Jeff Hebert is the owner. He's been referring me a lot of work this year. We've got a great relationship going on at the moment. Gutter work that I see needing to be done and roof work that I see needing to be done. I'm sending his way and he's referring work to me. Finishing it up, Quinn's on rinse mode. All right, roof washing <clears throat> with the Remco. It's doing okay, I'm not thrilled. Performance has been lackluster here today. May have something set a little bit wrong, I don't know. We're limping, limping through. Get through the day, hoping to get into the weekend and I can take some time and figure out what's going on. But in the meantime, we just need to work. I don't have time to troubleshoot on the job. Aggravating. Ran out of water on the last project. Machine gun, machine gun, ran out of water. Got to the next project, filled up water, started the eight gallon. It won't stop machine gunning. I just took all the plungers out of the pump and no debris. So I had to switch over to the five and a half to finish the project. New project. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with the eight gallon. Like I say, I took the plungers out. Those big caps right there, nothing in it. When I get home, I'm gonna take my water supply off and see if I'm not restricted somewhere. Something's going on, it won't stop gunning. 5.5 is going to get it done for the rest of the day though. Five point five to the rescue. One go, baby. Alright, we got this aluminum sided painted Cape style house in Brooklyn, Connecticut. And a little 5.5 is absolutely screaming through it. We got the correctly sized 3.7 gallon, 3 to 7 gallon per minute M5 on here. And we'll have no problem at all. Which is good because we're probably running the same setup tomorrow. We've got a big day stacked up tomorrow. And no more time to troubleshoot. When I get home this evening, I got other things to do. So we managed to get this thing running right. I'll show you in a minute. We swapped in the Flow Pro and we fixed the bypass line. So she's running just the way she should and will more than easily get me through my day tomorrow. Good to have a backup. Show you. I swapped the whip lines over. This one goes to the 5.5, that one goes to the 8. Swapped it in here. Low pro works the way it should. Had to add a new bypass line. Let it rip. All right, we come home to four barrels of fresh shock from Robert's Chemical. Gotta love it. And also, we came home to new yard signs from UZ Marketing. We'll pop those open in the morning, show you what they look like. They're my standard power washing sign. We've got a hundred of them in there. They look like that. You know, if you watch me for a minute, you know. Have a good night. We'll catch you tomorrow.